Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a quick Philadelphia Phillies versus Washington Nationals series preview with our Phillies coming off of a series loss to the Atlanta Braves. They look to sharpen up and play better on the road, which has been a big struggle for the Phillies, not just this year, but the last few years, honestly, going back to the Capitol era and the first year of Joe Girardi. So hopefully they're able to get it going and actually get their batch going, plus they're pitching on the road. Please also, before we get going, like, comment, and subscribe here, as well as at Steel Flyers and Flyers Nitty Gritty. Excuse me, we really appreciate your support. The first game is definitely not the pitching matchup for the ages. It is Chase Anderson versus Eric Fetty. Uh, both of these guys are really struggling this year. One and three, five five four for Anderson. Two and three, and a five two seven for Eric Fetty. The lineups for today in Game One of the series are going to be Andrew McCutcheon leading off in left, Gene Segura batting second at second, uh, Bryce Harper batting third at right field. JT stays in the cleanup spot, obviously catching at four. Brad Miller is going to be the third baseman today at five. Reese Hoskins at first base at six. Didi Gregorius at shortstop at seven. Odubel still in center field at eight, and then Chase Anderson is of course nine. And then first for Washington is Trey Turner at short. Juan Soto is batting second uh, at right field. First baseman Josh Bell is batting third. Kyle Schwarber is batting cleanup in left field. Jan Gomes is catching tonight for them at fifth spot in the lineup. Starling Castro is manning third base at the sixth spot. Josh Harrison, former, um, of course, preseason Phil player, is playing second base for them and actually doing pretty good this year. Um, Victor Robles is playing center field for them, and then, of course, Eric Fetty's batting ninth. This is a game I don't even think you can really predict um, how the outcome's going to go. This pitching matchup is either these two guys are going to give up a boatload of runs, or they're going to have their best days, or one guy gives up a boatload of runs, and it's just a blowout for the one team because the other guy really shows up. And those games are really tough to really put a <clears throat> predictor on where... This is kind of the wild card game of this series for me, where then tomorrow the Phillies have to be able to go up against a hot John Lester, um, who's actually been pitching good in his first few starts. He's 0-1 with a 2-7-0 ERA and, already, and has six strikeouts and has been pitching really well in two games this far, so hopefully he has a struggling third game and the Phillies are able to jump on him. Lester at this point of his career is obviously just a location specialist. So if you can jump on him early, you can jump on the pitches he leaves over the zone, you'll be able to get him. You just have to be smart, aggressive on him and actually go after those pitches and not go after the first pitch, like off-speed pitches, changes, whatever he mixes in and tries to get you with to try to like finesse you with his great, smart pitching mindset. That's kind of how he gets you out now. We're one of the best pitchers in baseball to start the season at three and two, 2.83 with 59 or 49, excuse me, strikeouts is Zach Wheeler, who's going up against Lester tomorrow. I still think obviously we have the better pitching matchup there. I think this is a game the Phillies need to win and will win. I think this is a game they will take. I'm predicting a win in the second game. In the third game, the Phillies have the pitching advantage again. They had the pitching advantage in two of the three in Atlanta too, so that obviously doesn't guarantee anything one iota. But they should be able to have a better percentage chance of winning. You should be able to beat Patrick Corbin, who has off to a very putrid start at one and three and a seven three six, where Zach Eflin's off to a very good start at two and one and a three three eight. So I think the Phillies should be able to be sitting pretty to win two of these games in this series because of the pitching matchup. But the problem is you have to have the bullpen come up again. You have to have guys step up where we've been having guys be consistent, but then you always have that one guy that kind of has been struggling and is very much more consistently been on the road. So they have to figure out this struggle bunny issue on the road and kind of get going. And this is a series with the pitching matchups yet again. It benefits them in two out of three games. They should be able to do so, but that did not work for the Atlanta series. I think they should be able to win two out of three in the series. Hopefully it actually comes to fruition this time because they have the benefit in two out of the three pitching matchups. Again, please like, comment, and subscribe, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video, a short series preview on the Philadelphia Phillies versus Washington Nationals. Hopefully the Phillies can take two of three in this series because of the pitching matchups. you got to take advantage of the pitching matchups that lean in your favor, especially when it's on the road, and the Phillies have not done that this far or really recently in recent years at all, so hopefully it starts with this series. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody, and have a great, safe, and pleasant week. Peace out and stay safe.